The Bible records that Joseph gave grain to both the Egyptians and his brothers. When his brothers opened their sacks of grain, there was money on the top. This was his family. You too are the family of God. Your grain is the word of God. Every time you receive the word of God, you also receive a blessing. Here's Pastor Joey with today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Hi there, family of God. Uh, this is another opportunity for me to share the devotions with you, and I pray the Lord will bless you. Just remember that our church is open and the offices are open. You can come by. Please call and tell us, and I pray the Lord will bless you, and the Lord's keeping you safe from the COVID-19. Keep looking to Him. And for this devotion today, I'm going to read from 2 Corinthians chapter 11. I'm going to read this quickly because there's so much to say here. It says, Paul's writing says, Are they Hebrews? So am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. Are they ministers of Christ? I speak as a fool. I am more. In labors more abundant, in stripes above measure, in prisons more frequently, in deaths often. From the Jews, five times I received forty stripes minus one. Three times I was beaten with rods. Once I was stoned. Three times I was shipwrecked. A night and a day I have been in the deep, in journeys often, in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils of my own countrymen, in perils of the Gentiles, in perils in the city, in perils in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren, in weariness and toil, in sleeplessness, often in hunger and thirst, in fastings, often in cold and nakedness. Besides the other things, what comes upon me daily, my deep concern for all the church. Now listen, Paul lists his sufferings as an apostle. He is saying, I've suffered all of these things. I've been beaten, I've been hit with the rod, stoned, perils all around. He's saying, my experiences were painful. They were very, very painful. But the idea is this, I'm writing this letter to you because I want you to know I didn't let the pain stop me. My friends, in this life, pain will come to you. Understand that. Pain will come when you don't expect it. Pain will come when you least expect it. Pain will come when you don't want it. Pain will come in measures you don't even believe. Pain will come when you don't deserve it. Pain comes to rich, poor, good, bad, everybody. But the idea is, I'm saying, don't let the pain stop you. Paul didn't let the pain stop him. He listed all of his sufferings. God gives us special grace to carry us through pain. You see, when you are going through pain and it hurts so much, my beloved, that's the time you can call upon God and God will give you grace. That's how the Apostle Paul lived his life. You see, when you are busy in God and with God, you forget the pain. That's what happened to Paul. They beat him, they thrashed him, they robbed him, they did the rest. But he was so busy with God that the pain didn't matter. The Bible also tells us your pain will only last for a night. Doesn't it say weeping may endure for a night, but the joy comes in the morning. You see, my friends, I am saying to you, you will have pain in this life. But don't let the pain stop you. Don't let it stop you from loving and serving God. Don't let it stop you from enjoying your life. Don't let it stop you from appreciating your family. Don't let it stop you from pursuing what you have to pursue for tomorrow. Don't let the pain stop you. Watch the Apostle Paul. I receive 40 stripes minus one, five times. I was beaten with robes. I was stoned. I was shipwrecked in perils among my own countrymen. He says, my own people even brought pain to me. But that didn't stop me. What I want you to know, that your pain will always bring you to a good end. The latter will be greater than the former. In 2 Corinthians 4 and 7, Paul says, I've fought the good fight, I've finished the race, I've kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, but also those who love his appearing. My beloved, don't let the pain stop you. Soon, 
the pain will be over and you'll enjoy the blessings and the benediction of our God. Ask Job. He'll tell you the same thing. Watch the life of our Lord Jesus Christ rising on the third day. God will bless you with that. So when you experience pain, don't let it stop you. I wish you well. The peace of God be with you. I'll talk to you again very shortly. Have a blessed day. Amen.